Hello and welcome. I am Zintho playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, I this is the first video on my channel. I don't know what it's going to be called yet. I have yet to decide. But um, today I'm going to be taking off from the airport, which is somewhere down here, the spaceport. Uh, and then here we go. And then we're going to go into orbit. And there we are. So I'm like a huge fan of astrophysics, cosmology, all that stuff. So when this game was released, I was I I was so happy. I you have no idea. I, I just started sweating, um, and just I told all my friends, and none of them cared. But uh, two years later, I finally bought the game. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's have a look. Some modules. I don't really know what any of these do. Oh, it's got some information in the corner there. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter for now because we're only doing a, an orbital going into orbit. So we'll just pop one of these on. Oh, hang on a minute. What's going on on top here? Oh, Make it go upside down. Whee! Anyway, um, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, what have we got here then? So we've got the fuel tanks, some engines on the side, uh, more fuel tanks because you can't get enough of those fuel tanks. Uh, what I assume are like plane or um, spacecraft, like the shuttle fuels. Yeah, you can see the uh, heat resistant material on the bottom there. And some mini boost. Oh my god, the hell was that noise? Jesus. I think, it's, I think it was him. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a joke. What's he doing he's waving his arm up and down like that? He thinks he's the queen or something. Anyway, um, so let's call it. Oh, what should we call it? Or. Orbital Test 1, because this is an incredibly boring name, because I couldn't think of anything better. Oh well, so this is, obviously this isn't a very efficient craft already, because it's already got nothing on the top, so I wonder if we can put like a parachute on or something. I have played the demo of this game a while back, so I do have a general idea, but there seems to be a lot that, rechargeable battery pack. Well, there's a lot has obviously changed since I last played it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so, I know you need an SAS module in order to control the craft. Um, which is, it's like gyration and to stop it spinning out of control and all that. To hold it so you don't have to sit there with your hands on the, the keys to keep it under control. Right. Fuel tanks. Let's go with the basics for now. This seems like a basic... Okay, that's not a basic one. And uh, neither is that one. Okay, we're sticking with these. Uh, let's put another one. I said another one. And let's put another one. Um, I don't want to go too overkill because this isn't some missile. This is just... Gee, he looks a bit blunt on the top. I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't look that... We'll see what happens. Um, looks like something out of Star Wars, this control pad. Pod. Rather. So, uh, which of these is quite powerful? It needs to escape Kerbin's gravity, which I imagine is similar to Earth's if they're trying to model it correctly. So, engine power 215, 1500. Jesus. I think we're going to go with 50. Uh, okay, we're not going to go with 1500 because the engine's huge. So, we'll go with 215 for now. And then we'll put some side ones along here. Um, did I. This is an SAS, so I need to put a decoupler on as well. It's for the... Um, so I can separate out when I'm coming back to land. If I ever come back to land. Which I probably will. Uh, so let's get a stack decoupler. Right there. Pop that one there. Pop that one there. I'm like... This isn't this isn't rocket science, people. It's not, it's not that hard to follow. Um, so this seems pretty good. Uh, I do want to put something on the sides though, so... Uh, is this what I want? What's this? Uh, yeah, this is what I want. So I'm going to... This, I believe, yep, puts three on the side, so I can now put three different rockets on. Um, uh, oh, I didn't know I could do that button. Action groups. Oh, there's so much in this game. Um, okay, so let's go on some more rocket fuel. Tanks. There we go. Put that one on there. Pop that one on the bottom there. It's coming along nicely. Um, 
I'm guessing the total mass is going to be pretty high now. 0.25. 0.25 what? Kilograms? What the hell? Doesn't mean anything. Tons, I imagine. Uh, let's put some aerodynamic tops on these. Nose cones. There we go. And some more rockets on the side because we need more rockets. Um, so if we could have all the rockets fire at the same time, that would be fantastic because we get maximum propulsion. I have a funny feeling I'm going to need another stage in the middle between here and here. Um, so you have to watch this. It might be a bit boring. So I'm just going to pop another one on really quickly. Uh, another one, another one, another one. We'll just use one of these. There we go. And then... Oh, no, I need another bloody decoupler. Jesus. Goddamn decouplers. All the time. Is that... What have I just done? No, that doesn't go there, that goes there. Let me put our rocket on. Now, we're not going to use 215 this time because it's probably a bit too high. So let's put 150. Oh god, that, that noise, it just scares the crap out of me. What's going on? Why can't I put anything on the... What is this? Oh, what the per what's the point of this? Oh, it's, I bet it's like a jet engine or something. Christ almighty. So angry. Oh, this is um, so I need another rocket, but all these seem either really low, atomic, really low, or just that's. See, that's another uh, plain one. I don't want a plain one. A plain one, a very simple one. Uh, let's just put a 200 one on there. I have to use it very carefully. Actually, screw it. Let's use the. One of them. One of them. Wait, what is this? Is this the SAS module? Um, I might have to edit some of this out. So there we are. Sorry, I had to just sort that out because I was a little bit confused as to what I was doing. Um, and I, I, I had a moment of weakness and I had to... What was going on? And now you get to listen to some smooth jazz. As I put the external few ducks on my mechan- What the- As I put them on Like that And that No Like that and that There Listen to smooth jazz So this way, um, as it's firing The fuel will flow from these into this, I hope And I can last for longer Space Penis Mark III Orbital Test 1, as I call it Because let's not be rude people, let's not be rude Alright, well I think we're ready for a launch uh, Let's see what happens I haven't put any RCS, which are these little rockets which keep control But I hope it's not too much problem, because it's not Oh Because it's not like a really powerful rocket Look at this beast Who am I kidding, it's not a beast, it's a wimp It's a wimp Kind of mirrors, kind of mirrors me. Right, shift is to power up. SAS, I think is T. Yep, there we go. We're ready. Um, so what are we looking for here? Orbital. Oh, it's going to orbit, so I guess. Oh, what's going on there? What the hell just happened? Going to just around here for now. Got the moon. We got the Minmus. One day, I think next episode I'll try and land on the moon. Unless this goes horribly wrong. Uh, oh my god, look at this. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Elio. Interesting. Is there any more than that? No. Alright then. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at him. No, oh, I don't want to go. We've got Jebediah Kerman in the capsule today. He's, he's laughing his ass off right now. He's so He's so happy. He's looking to the skies. This rocket's not sounding too healthy. Um, it's making a very, very nice sound. We're at 2,500 meters. Our surface speed is 190 meters per second. I'm guessing that's completely vertical at the moment. Um, see the space ball. And we can look at this beautiful, beautiful horizon. Anyway, so here we are. This is. 
our path if we were to suddenly decide to stop. God knows why. Um, the apoapsis is the, the highest point of that path, in case you couldn't guess already. Um, so we're just going to leave it a bit longer before I start to do any gravity turns. Actually, I might just do one now. Gonna stay on that mark here. There we go. Steady, steady now. Jebediah, don't fall out. God knows how that would happen. Okay, there we go. That should do for So we're curving away. We're gonna follow the curvature of the current orbital rotation because why spend all that energy turning around and going the opposite way when you can follow your current velocity? So not much has changed really. Um, have we got enough power actually? Because oh, and that's probably why. And I don't even know what just happened. If I screwed up the, yep, I screwed up the. <laughs> I screwed up the um <coughs> things. The decouplers. So now we're just a rocket riding on top of another rocket. Jebediah, quite unaware of the situation. He's just sat there in his little pod. He's having the time of his life, quite unaware that at any moment these rockets will give out and he'll fall to his death. Um, if I... I wonder if I press... Yep, I can make it move. Alright, Jebediah, careful. Steady now. Steady now. Okay, here he goes. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's all going horribly wrong. This is it. This is it for, for Team Jebediah. He's dead. He's actually dead. And he's still happy. He's never going to see any of his family again, but he's still... He's laughing. He's, he's so happy. Oh, my... Well... Hang on a minute, we've got control of... No, we don't. That's off. See ya. He's off. I don't even know... There he is. He's off. This is it now. We're just in space. Brilliant. Well, I think we're going to have to end flight. Yeah, so I fixed it now. Um, I've called it Orbital Test 2 in true fashion of the actual Apollo missions. Um, <laughs> instead of 1 like I did earlier. Here we are, take two um, of orbital test two. Um, SAS on, Jebediah is ready to go, he's ready to rock and roll. So I've uh, I've changed around the uh, system here, so all the rockets are firing now. When these are drained, because they're, they're also draining into this main one here, I can now decouple them separately so they don't bloody fire off at once and leave them stranded. Um, and then this one will continue to fire, and then I will fire this one off as well. The problem was last time was I didn't even realise it was nowhere near paying attention as to what was actually happening. Um, these rockets burnt out and I was still bloody watching the map and thinking of something funny to say, which wasn't meant to be funny. Uh, I don't like how this is dropping. The oxidizer. I thought we only need the oxidizer when we got to space. Okay. There we go. Now we have less mass, so we're flying less mass into space. Whereas earlier we were doing unnecessarily large amounts of mass because we were carrying it, an empty fuel tank along with us, which is highly unnecessary. So here we go, about 305 meters per second at 15,000 meters. Is this herbal? So I'm now going to do a little gravity turn on that mark, and there. It is actually a little bit of rotational spin going on for some reason. So, oh, oh dear, what's going on? No, 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 it's not what we want. Oh god, oh god. Okay, power down, power down, power down. Okay, where's the 90 degrees? Oh my god, I can't even see it. Is that it? Is that it? That's no, that's not it. No oh god, it's going horribly wrong. Okay, there we go. I'll just do it by eye instead. I see where it is. Okay. Steady now. Steady, 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 steady. Okay. Shh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's so dodgy. Well, it's test one. Uh, oh my god. Oh. Well, that's certainly going to put me on a weird orbital path. Um, I'm going to have to fix that at some point. Aren't I? Well, what is this now? So, we're not actually out of the atmosphere. We'll be out of the atmosphere when it's just above 8,000, I believe. Um, here. Rather here, sorry. Maybe not. Um, so... Uh, I'm going to 
decrease my speed a bit more as I just turn slightly. Oh, it's all screwed up, this ball. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, move it back down here. There's the 90 degree mark. Jesus Christ. I've completely screwed myself over here. There we go. I should fix things. A bit. Oh. And then holy music starts because God is smiling down on this little old rocket. Got a tiny amount of fuel left. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Um, no, this, is, this is weird. So what I'm going to do is... At, just before the apoapsis in two minutes I will do another burn here say um, and then increase my orbital burn so I go around the planet because apparently that's the most efficient way to do it um, and then hopefully I'll have a proper orbit I'll be at a quite screwed up one at least I'm not going over the poles just yet anyway um, so here we are the low rocket on his first ever journey into space. So I've got some cool plans lined up for this game, apart from just landing on the moon and stuff. Um, I've got to be ready for that burn in a minute. Going to go and see, at some point, the first planet I want to see is Duna, because it's probably the easiest one to get to. Um, uh, I, but before that, of course, I'll land on the moon and on Minmus, as, as far away as it is. No one likes leaving home. Um, but I also want to do some random stuff, like, you know the Felix Balatoli? I, I can't remember his, not Balatoli, whatever his name is. It's embarrassing that I can't remember, given that I've read so much about it. Um, I'm going to do something like him, where I launch into space, and then I just <laughs> send an awesome, um, not an awesome, not a Kerbinaut out, and just let him fall back down and see what happens. Um, I don't think they take fall damage, so that'll be interesting. Um... But for now, we're just trying to get into this orbit. We're approaching Apoapsis, 30 seconds to go. Um, let's... We're still lined up on the 90 degrees, even though it's probably not the most efficient thing we could do right now. The orbital speed's decreasing. Um, okay. 15 seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm going to start my burn... Now! And the rocket gives out. Brilliant. Right, quickly, there we go. Right, this nuclear fuel tank is supposed to be very, actually, quite weak. But the apoapsis is running away from us, so apparently it is working. We do have quite a lot of fuel with this, because it burns it very slowly, but the power is very low. And it's overheating. Fantastic. Jebediah is still happy. He nearly died last earlier, but um, now, now he's just happy to be alive and to see this wonderful, wonderful view of the Milky Way, the sun, Watching that overheat. Um, um, so there is our capsule. It's actually so we're actually going down now. Is it down? We, we're flying further south, so we are righting our orbit slightly. But it'll probably never be what I hope it will never be. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop for a bit. We need to get back to the apoapsis and then we can carry on because I am actually planning to land back down on Kerbin but unfortunately if we don't have much fuel left that's going to be very difficult. Um, where is... Okay, 25 seconds. I'll do the 10 minute, 10 second thing again. So, we can look out for this beautiful, beautiful planet. Meow. What the hell? Oh my god, this is weird. Oh, here we go. So he's crapping his pants right now because he has no idea what's going on. Can he actually see out of this? EVA. Um, no, he, he can't. He can't. He can't see a thing. He can't see a bloody thing. Well, congratulations. Oh, no, wrong one. Let's see if that's his happiness. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, something's happening. I, I can't see what's happening. No! No, I wouldn't see what's happening. I wouldn't see what's happening. 
We still haven't actually reached that orbit. This is quite a bad situation. There's the liquid fuel. The hell? I'm such a noob. There we go. Um, oh, Jesus. I still seem to be going. Oh, you know what? I haven't actually been burning correctly. Sigh. Right. Take the SOS off. I just need to move myself down here. When I first played the demo of this game, it was so difficult to move the direction of the spacecraft. But now, I think they sorted that out. So there we go. That's better. That's better. Look at this. Look how high this is. 183,000. It doesn't need to be that high. I've screwed this up big time. What's this? Whoa, what is this? Oh my god. Oh my sweet Jesus. It's like a miracle. Oh, we don't want it that high though. 400. So I can actually add maneuvers now. Oh my god. So I can... This is brilliant. This is actually brilliant. 206. 100. So it's actually going to decrease. Oh no. 203. 110. Well, given this is our first flight, I just. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. What are you doing? <gasps> no! Oh, okay. No, oh, no. I, I need, it needs to be inside the atmosphere still. Alright, we'll just leave it at that for now, even though it's terribly, terribly off. Ah, so I can actually line up. Oh, listen to that beautiful music. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep. You have nothing to watch but my spaceship as it crashes down into the planet. Um, let's put the brakes on. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Um, so T minus. Oh! <laughs> oh, whoops! Oh, flipping hell! Oh, I screwed that right up, didn't I? Well, hopefully it'll work. It is expanding. It seems I've righted my orbit to near equilibrium. There is this little thing up here. Um, the fuel tank is running low now. I'm very... I don't think we'll be able to get back at all. Maybe. Let's see. I wonder what would happen if I let him out now. <laughs> Not really. Um, so, we are actually in orbit now. 20,000, 40,000, 30,000. Alright, decrease that speed. 2,060 meters per second, and we have achieved orbit. So here's Jebediah. He's hanging on for his dear life. He's just looked down. He was never told to look down, but he just looked down. We can't help it, really. He's... There we go. He's off. He's wandering. He's... He's stuck. What's he doing? Come on. God damn it, man. Move. Pack fuel... Nope, that's not what I wanted. How the hell do I... Well, I guess he's forever doomed to just... Ooh, do, 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 do. And now he's off. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I don't know how to move him! Come on. Oh, there we go. Ooh, what was that? And now he's floating in space forever and ever. There we go. Okay, so... Ooh, steady now. So... His rocket, his rocket's flown off. He's just gonna watch it. Oh, look at this! My own home. Well, see ya. No, no, no. I better be careful because what's the fuel on this? Oh, we got quite a bit. Um. So here we are. Space. I'm guessing that's Andromeda. Supposed to be anyway. Milky Way. The Sagittarius Belt. The Sun. Amazing. So let us move down. I think it's called the Sagittarius Belt. If I'm wrong, then I am going to cry. 
You call yourself a space nerd? I'm not a space nerd. I never claim to be. Apart from the beginning of this episode. Um. Anyway, let's go back in now. Right. So here we are. Orbit. Um. Fantastic. I know there's a way you can accelerate time. Yeah, so what we'll do is, is I will... I will do a retro burn here, which is, no, for the periapsis. Basically, it slows you down so I can then fall back into the planet, hopefully on the light side. So, there we go. I'm going to land in this desert here, because that seems like a nice place to land. Um, I'd love it if I could land back there, but I don't think my orbit is a bit screwed up really yet for that now. So instead, I will wait it out. Uh, T minus one hour. 41 minutes, so I'm just going to speed this up because it's boring. 41, 41. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Uh, maneuver. Thanks. Six minutes. I move there. So twice the speed. Oh, hang on. I know what's 36. That's T minus. So is that how long it's supposed to last? Oh, it's screwed up. That's why. Okay, let's face the direction of the burn. If I can find it. Hello. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right on target, baby. Right on target. Oh, let's start it now. And it's run off. Fantastic. Ripping fantastic. Son of a rascalian. Oh, there we go. Scallywag, come here. Right, there we go. <laughs> Scallywag. <laughs> right. Now we start the burn. And it's run off again. Fantastic. What's going on? What are these pe the people at NASA are just laughing their asses right now as Jebediah craps himself because his orbital I should probably just do my own follow my own gut. Really, but come on, come on guys. Okay, which way am I facing? I'm facing in the direction of my current speed, so clearly it's not gonna be that way, is it? Yeah. So what I'll do is is I'll do that. And I will turn myself around. I will face the direction it currently has for me, and I will leave it there. Screw you, blue mark. I've got to sort, sort you out. There we go. I'm now pointing at the planet. But my orbit is going down, so it's got the desired effect. I could use error braking, which is where you slow yourself down in the atmosphere, but... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop the burn. And he should be good. He can float now. Float into heaven's arms. No, not really. Uh, oh, there we go. Steady now. Steady, Johnson. So this, I think this has a gyroscope, which means it actually slows you down slightly. I don't know why I did that. Um, I think it was just to... What the fish ever? Oh yeah, it's the error breaking. So now, obviously I'm not going to land at 1,000... Well, I'm not going to be have a periapsis of 1,000 thingy meters because I'll come into the atmosphere very soon. Slow me down and I'll probably land around here. Frippin' great. Let's go to time up 2. I'm going to have to ditch this liquid fuel engine soon because I do not want to land with a bloody hydrogen, plutonium, uranium fuel tank on the back of my vessel because horrible things can happen, people. Horrible things can happen. Never walk around with uranium stacked to your backside for liquid fuel because God knows anything can happen with radioactive materials. So here we are, we're coming in. Oh, no, I didn't want to press that button. Very slowly. And I say slowly, I mean very extremely quickly. 2,390 meters per second at an angle of... I don't even know what that angle is. What does that say? 330 degrees, so... Well, some quad trigonometry... I actually have a calculator next to me for some reason. 
I can actually work out um, how fast we are going. We are going at 2,104 meters per second horizontally, which is extremely fast. Um, how fast are we going vertically? One thousand two hundred fifteen meters per second. That is slowing down now, anyway, because of the error breaking. Right, so here we go. Time warp one. We. Oh, this is, looks a bit dangerous. I'm not sure I want to be going near that. Uh. Oh, so. Turns out the error breaking is a lot more efficient than I thought. So might as well just use a bit of fuel. Extend how far I'm going. Nope. There we go. So this should stretch this now. But of course it's not doing anything, so I'm going to increase the power. Because <laughs> when science isn't good enough, do your basic instinct, people. Okay, this is not working one bit. Uh, let's point... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is all going horribly, horribly wrong. It's going wrong. Oh. Uh, uh, come on. Okay, no. And the fuel tank's gone. Fantastic. Right, so might as well decouple. And I'm now in free fall. <sighs> Jebediah is so happy. I'm not happy, and I'm mission commander. Why is that so much slower than me? I didn't realise it had that much. Anyway. Jebediah, so happy. Look at him. Look at those eyes just bulging out. He's I don't even know what this means. It's crazy. I'm deploying the parachute. I'm slowing down. I'm in the middle of God knows where. Here. <laughs> I'm very far away from home. I really hope this isn't the Kerbin equivalent of North Korea where I'm landing right now. Otherwise, things could go very badly when I land. Um, is he in there? I don't want to go on the UVA. I can't actually look out the capsule. He has no idea what's going on. For all he knows, he could be landing on Duna right now. Um, or the sun. I think he would know if he was landing on the sun, let's be honest here, people. Why can't I see out of this? There's no window. I, can I open this or something? I mean, what? Oh, God knows. So it says 4,200 meters. Oh, my God. That's the parachute. It says 4,200 meters, but it probably isn't because we are landing on a mountain range. It's probably a lot higher than that. Um, lower than that, rather. As indicated by the parachute, which normally deploys around 1,500 meters, if I am correct. Ooh, going through the hole. There we go. You can't actually see him inside of here. Rename vessel. He's not... I can't see him. He's not there. He's actually far away. <laughs> he realized what a dangerous mission this was and decided not to come along. Well, he did get out earlier. He's, he's staring. What is he? What he actually is staring at right now is a wall. He's so happy. He's just staring at a wall. He's got nothing better to do with his time. This is what he's doing. Look at his happy face. Imagine his happy face as he's staring at this. Oh, hang on. There's no. There's not even any thingies in here. There's no buttons to press. So he's just. He, he's in free fall basically. Anything could happen to him, and he he will have no idea. Boring. Let's speed it up slightly. <sighs> time warp time to four. I'm still doing this. Do 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 do. Shaky shaky shaky. Glad the Kraken isn't in this. Kraken used to be this thing where it would tear your ships apart if you were going too fast. It, it just got confused with the mechanics between the parts. But that doesn't happen any now, so... Just come past the acceleration of normal gravity. Um, which is a bit worrying. Uh, meters per second. 9.8 meters per second. Oh, okay, here we go. Landing. I'm gonna land in a minute. Can we see the shadow? No, we can't see the shadow. Still... Still flying down. There we go, here he comes. Uh, not 
quite. <laughs> Time to go back to the spaceport, people. It's going to be a long journey. Uh, no, it's not going to work. So there we go. Orbit and back again. <laughs> and he's just fallen on the floor. He's so tired. He just climbed out and he just <laughs> fell off. Anyway, um, after that point of face palming the ground, and on that note, um, where I'm currently face palming the ground, I leave you um, from Kerbal Space Program, and I will be going to the moon hopefully next time, or I might be doing a docking. Either way, I hope people actually like this, because it's my first ever video. So small compared to the world. Anyway, see ya.